Welcome to mathematics with M's, grade 10 algebraic expressions, factorization of difference of two squares. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Difference of two squares. Now consider the product a plus b times a minus b. And you remember it is a squared minus b squared. Now the reverse process can also be done. a squared minus b squared means two brackets, a plus and a minus. Then a comes from the square root of a squared and b comes from the square root of b squared. And this is called factorization of the difference of two squares. Another way of seeing this type of factorization is that a squared minus b squared is the same as the square root of a squared plus the square root of b squared times the square root of a squared minus the square root of b squared, which again gives you a plus b times a minus b. And of course, we have both a and b must be positive. Let's look at the example. Factorize fully. x squared minus 25. Now, x squared minus 25, so either you use that third rule or you don't have to. You just say the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 25 is 5. So in the first bracket, you write x plus 5, and in the second bracket, you write x minus 5. But remember now, both x squared and 25 must be squares. Look at b. 64x to the power 4, is it a square? Yes. It is 8x squared times 8x squared. 49y squared, is it a square? Yes. 7y times 7y. So that's how you must always recognize. And there must be a minus in the middle. So don't forget. If you look at C, 2 8 to the power 8. Well, 2 is not a square. So therefore, it's not yet sum and difference. However, I can do a common factor 2, then the 2, then inside the bracket, a to the power 8 is a square because it is 8 times 4 times 8 times 4. b to the power 8 is a square because it is b to the power 4 times b to the power 4. Right. And then in the next bracket, you will notice that the second bracket, a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 is, is again sum and difference. So therefore, a squared plus b squared, a squared minus b squared. Then you will notice the third bracket is again sum and difference. a squared minus b squared, which of course is a plus b times a minus b. Remember, factorization must always be done in full. Right. D. 16 minus x minus y squared. Is 16 a square? Yes, it is 4. Is the bracket x minus y a square? Yes, it is a square. So there you are. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of x minus y squared is x minus y. So you repeat the bracket with a negative. You can either leave the round bracket or you can remove it. Or alternatively, you can use the k method again, where you, let, you say let x minus y be k. But don't forget, in the end, you must reintroduce x minus y. Right, please, it is important that you must work through the exercise. Make sure you can do all of the examples and the solutions will be on the next page. Right, so there are your solutions to the exercise. Please, it is important that you must work through the examples before you check the answers. Right, this is uh, Mathematics with M's. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.